but um, I used to have a little job going around with cakes and biscuits and um, made in the bread shop like you know bread on a Saturday morning I used to get threepence for that well you could go to the pictures for threepence so I used to go on into the next place called Hale just before you got into Altrincham to the cinema how old were you then? Oh, I don't know, I must have been nine. Couldn't have been very old. What sort of things did you see at the cinema? Uh, Wizard of Oz and all these um, Come Back Next Week serials. Right. Yeah? Cowboys and Indians. Then our filly was thinking she was hitting a bit and would go in the cinema next to the one where I was. She was always losing her gloves. And one day Mr Caldwell came up and he said, where is Phyllis? I said, she's coming. He said, well, we'll wait for her. Of course, then all of a sudden he grabbed my hand, marched round to the next cinema and our filly was there looking at the grown-up films. Well, she did a little bit of lip and answering back and, and that, you know, and then in the, in he said, or Mrs Caldwell said, well, she's had enough of this, so she'll have to go. So they said to me, do you want to stay? And I said, no, not if... Philly's not stopping here, and I thought I'd still be with her, but it didn't work out that way. I went somewhere else again. And so did she. Yeah. So you were separated. Yeah. And then the last place I went to, Kenny took me to see the house only a year or two back. And it's only a tiny little house. I think it's one of those two up and two down, you know. Mm -hmm. The bathroom was downstairs, a bit like they were at West Our Road. I mean, today's luxury livings, nothing like that was in them days. But they were very nice people to me. And then I found out that our filly was going to go home. So I said, well, if you're going home, so am I. Because we used to go and see my mum about once a fortnight or once a month. We'd go and see her. Then we had to get back on the bus from Manchester to get back to Altrincham. Perhaps we went on the Saturday morning and went home on the Sunday night, you know. There wasn't a tram. There was lots of trams, yeah. I yeah. don't know, trams and buses, trolley buses. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose we weren't too bad, really. Or... Didn't you tell me once one of the people that you stayed with, one of the women, I suppose, that you stayed with during the war, wanted to adopt you? Yeah. That was the last place I was at. That was the last place you were yeah. at. Was she the one that gave you a doll? Mrs Cottrell. Her husband was called Wilf and she was called Anne. Yeah. And I suppose they didn't have any children of their no. own? And she wanted to adopt you? And I felt a bit ashamed because it would have been nice to have kept in touch. But to have tuppence to get a stamp was a lot of money in them days. Nobody had any money. No. It was well, you would think it was silly today, but then nobody had any. Mm. Well, I suppose if it was threepence to go to the cinema yeah. and tuppence for a stamp, yeah. today to go to the cinema is like seven or eight pounds. <laughs> yeah. So it'd be like paying a fiver for a stamp, wouldn't it? It'd be yeah. a lot of money. But every other block in Manchester was a chip shop and every couple of blocks there was a bloody cinema. It was nice. It was lovely up there. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Everybody was happy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny old world, isn't it? Yeah. So you went back to Guernsey then in 1946? Yeah, the on first day. On the 1st day. of January? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it took years to pick up. Well, I think when my mum come over here, when Susie was born in 1953, still things hadn't got back together again. That's because the states had to pay all that money back, see? To the British government? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So when you went back in 1946, <coughs> how old were you then? Well, 31, 41, 14. So you'd finished schooling? I'd just finished the school at Christmas. You didn't go back to school once no. you got to Guernsey? No. So I suppose you got a job, did you? Yeah, just doing housework. Yeah, at 14? Yeah, mm. doing housework. All for next to nothing, eh? What was your first job? Housework. But with whom? Oh, I forget her name now. Because I'm, I'm remembering when you told me once, you said to one of your employers, your dad says 
you need to be paid so much. Yeah, well, tell um, me that. My mum, now my mum wanted me to go and work for this lady. Where she worked, it was her sister, and they wanted me to live in. So my mum said, "Well, you can try it." So I did, and she gave me a pot of jam, and that had to last me a month. But it was homemade jam; it wasn't on the coupons. <laughs> One pot of jam for yeah, a month. Yeah. Jeez. And she said. Could you call me mum? I said, yeah, all right, Miss Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she thought I was dense. <laughs> so then she Could said, you call me mum? Uh, uh, you've forgotten. I asked you to call me mum. Yeah, all right, Miss Jackson. I was like, uh, who the hell does she think she is? Calling her mum. She might like to think she is, but she's not. So then I gave my notice and I got a job along the Fort Road. <laughs> 